स्टूडेंट्स कुछ बात करेंगे टाइम डोमेन प्लॉट और फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन प्लॉट की स्टूडेंट्स अभी तक आप सब टॉपिक्स की डिस्कशन में द प्लॉट दट वी बीन डिस्कसिंग इज अ टाइम डोमेन प्लॉट वट डू आई मीन बाय दैट इन अ टाइम डोमेन प्लॉट वी नॉर्मली प्लॉट एन एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ अ साइन वेव और अ सिग्नल वर्सेज टाइम वाई एक्सिस पे आपके पास एम्पलीट्यूड होता है और एक्स एक्सिस पे हम लोगों ने टाइम ड्रॉ किया था students there are quite a few cases where drawing a frequency domain plot instead of a time domain plot is much more efficient than drawing a time domain plot frequency domain plot mein we draw frequency on the x axis and we draw amplitude on the y axis so all that we have done we have replaced time with frequency why do we do that let's go to the slide and let's have a look at some of the time domain versus frequency domain plots students so we'll start with this shoot of a sine wave which is equal to 5 volts we have got a frequency of this electrical signal or a sine wave which is 6 hertz and then because this is a time domain plot as you can see we have got amplitude on the y axis and we have got time in seconds on the x axis students this is a sine wave in the time domain or a time domain plot of a sine wave students moving on if we have to convert this time domain plot of this particular sine wave with the same amplitude and the same frequency into a frequency domain plot then this is how we are going to draw it as you can see this is now represented by on the x axis by a single spike which is at frequency is equal to 6 hertz and it shows a peak value or an amplitude of 5 volts so students you can clearly see that the frequency domain plot is much easier and less complex than the time domain plot but at the same time it actually conveys all the information that one can find in a time domain plot students the advantage of this frequency domain plot is that we can immediately see that spike so we can note down the value of the frequency in this particular case it's 6 hertz and then we can find out the peak amplitude of that same sine wave or the signal as well instead of drawing multiple periods multiple cycles and a complete sine wave all that we have to draw is one single spike that shows the frequency and it also shows the amplitude so let's we'll move on to another example and in this example we can see that we have got the time domain and the frequency domain plots of three different sine waves students as you can see every single sine wave is different when it comes to amplitude the frequencies are different the amplitudes are different the first sine wave has got a frequency of 0 and an amplitude of 15 the second sine wave has got a frequency of 8 and an amplitude of 10 and the third and last sine wave has got a frequency of 16 and an amplitude of 5 students you can see the complicated or the complex uh, time domain plot that we have got here now if we convert this time domain plot into the frequency domain plot we come up with three spikes on our frequency domain plot and you can see the first spike representing the first sine wave is an amplitude of 0 I'm sorry it's a frequency of 0 with an amplitude of 15 it has got a frequency of 8 with an amplitude of 10 and the third one has got a frequency of 16 with an amplitude of 5 so representing a sine wave in a frequency domain plot is much simpler and conveys the same information that is present in a time domain plot which is a rather complex one 